Gary, let me show you what I've brought. This is an electric heat cable, and this gets installed on top of your roof. We lay it in a zigzag pattern. We put it in the gutter in the downspout. What that does is it prevents the water that's coming down from freezing, gives it a nice path to go into the gutter and then into the downspout. So therefore the water won't go inside your house. That sounds great, but is it expensive to operate? Well, this cable's 60 feet long and it consumes about 300 watts of electricity. However, it plugs into this sensor. This sensor needs two parameters to turn on. One is temperature, so below 38 degrees it turns on, but it has to have moisture on this sensing lead right here. So on those long stretches where we have no snow, but it's really cold, the heat cable will not be on. So it saves some money right there. Great. All right, let me show you how it's installed. To get started, I'm gonna secure these clips to the shingles. Then I can lay out and attach the heat cable to the gutter and the roof. And then these clips will hold the cable together in a loop so I can feed it into the downspout. Then I can mount the sensor and lay the moisture lead along the edge of the roof. Now I've got to bring power up to the cables. I use this waterproof wire, sleeve it in this pipe, install this weatherproof box and this receptacle. This cover will protect everything from water. I'm going to attach the outlet to the side of the house a hole through the sill into the basement where I'm gonna feed the wire into the panel. Gary, everything's tied into the basement on its own dedicated circuit and the circuit is GFCI protected. The good news is up there is completely automatic. You don't have to do anything. This will be the end of your ice dams.